Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey, and, and this is Dixie. Dixie. And we're Love Pup for Life. We've been on the road now for 41 weeks in our homemade truck camper, and this week we got a few projects started and even finished one or two of them. Yeah, and we got to start off our week in Bankhead National Forest, a national forest that is uh, pretty special to us because it's the closest one to home. I hope you guys enjoy this week. If you do, be sure and hit that like button and comment below to let us know what you think. As has become the pattern of late, we left out on Saturday for yet another hutless adventure. This time, headed north past Lake Gunnersville up to Cathedral Cavern State Park. Unfortunately, after a two hour drive, we got there to discover that they are now requiring that you have a reservation for the cave tours. We all know that Kelsey's not very keen on following rules, so she went ahead and jumped that rope and got a few pictures for you guys. Unfortunately, my timing was off and this is all that I could get before kindly being escorted out by the local park ranger. You jumped the rope, didn't you? I got a few good pictures. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, we were a little disappointed, but by this time, it was time for us to find somewhere to lay our heads for the night. While there is camping on Lake Gunnersville that you saw us pass on the way here, all of that is paid campsites and uh, very little privacy, which you know is not our style. So we did what we do best and headed into Bankhead National Forest. It did feel nice to be back in an Alabama forest with these giant trees surrounding me. We did have to adventure pretty deep into it to find a camping spot for the night though. Got there just in time to catch an absolutely gorgeous sunset through the trees. We decided to set up the tent in the back of the truck to make ourselves feel more at home and then cook some steaks to enjoy by the fire. It felt good to wake up in the middle of the forest and have a different morning view, even if it was out of our tent window instead of our bedroom window. Unfortunately, we had to break camp pretty early and hit the road. a quick supply run it was time to head back towards corner and back towards our house that had a lot of projects waiting on us first project to tackle was the side window. We've had problems with it leaking since the very beginning of our journey, whether it be rain or wind. I decided to rectify this by building a frame around the window.
and that also meant finishing the inside framing of our window, which I was pretty excited about. Previously, it was completely unframed on the inside and oh, we've been using sticks that oh, we hide behind our couch pillows in order to hold it up when it's open. We also added cross supports and Z bracing to our stand as many of you suggested in last week's episode. The next morning, Shane was surprised with an extra day off and I was pretty excited about that. Dixie had been nervously hunting something that we just couldn't see. And then we found it. Apparently she's not the only tiny critter living around here. I got back to work on this sign that I've been working on for a couple of weeks now, while Shane got to work improving our bug screen for our front door. A very much needed item in the South. Meanwhile, Dixie continued to hunt our new little friend. We got some new hinges installed on our refrigerator door and began work on our stovetop, but eventually we both agreed that it was just too hot. That meant hitting the road and heading towards another one of our favorite Alabama spots. I've been randomly traipsing down this dirt path for the past 16 years of my life. This place is considered a local secret and I'm gonna keep it that way. I won't be sharing the GPS coordinates or the name of this place. If you happen to be from around here and you know this place, thanks for enjoying it and keeping it a secret with me. This place is also home to many a high school memory, including my first Bud Lot. This trail is actually one of the very first places that, that Shane took me when he brought me home to Alabama to meet his family. So it's pretty special to us and I definitely wanted to share it with you even if we can't tell you the full location. It leads to yet again one of our favorite swimming holes. natural feature of this deep swimming hole is the fact that it stays cold. Even after being in the sun all day, the water still puts a chill on you when you jump in, which is exactly what we needed after a long hot day working in the sun. We could have stayed in that water all day long, but unfortunately we knew that we had a lot of work left to do on the house and it was time to get home. So me and Dixie led the charge out of the trail and back to our truck. I don't think I'll ever get used to the idea of driving back to our house and hopefully we won't have to for much longer, but that means that we needed to get home and get back to work.
We finished out the window with some fancy new latches and window supports, and I started sanding down the stove top with the help of my two furry little friends. We finished out the night by heading down to Mima's to earn our dinner by getting a little bit of yard work done before going inside. The next morning, this little girl, who we've named Adzo, was back to see me off to work. Our furry little friends seem to have found some common ground because they were both very upset to see Shane go. I got to work finishing off all of the projects that we had started over the weekend by adding stain to all of the new wood. I also got to get some more work done on this sign that has turned into a much larger project than I ever could have imagined that it would be. I hope it works. Tell me. Can you tell me how your day was? No. Did you miss me? Yeah. You missed me? <laughs> Did you get booped? Did the cat boop you today? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> the next morning, Shane was back at work and so was I, getting started on waterproofing and painting all of the projects that we had started before. Before getting rained out and heading down to Meemaw's to cook some dinner for the family. It does put a smile on my face to see Kelsey cooking in the kitchen where I learned to cook. And also, Mima leaving her alone. It means she trusts her. The rain cleared out, Shane went back to work, and I was finally able to get some of these projects completed. All my girls were happy to see me home, and I got to work on the kitchen countertop. We're using industrial strength glue instead of grouting to keep these tiles from moving around as we head down the road. That rain came back with full force the next day meaning that we didn't have a whole lot of time to get things done, but I managed to get everything almost ready for the kitchen to be reassembled. And we closed out another amazing week down at Mimo's house. enjoyed that as much as we certainly did. It's been a true pleasure showing around places that I call home. If you notice this week, <laughs> we've gained a new furry little friend, Adzo. Yeah, guys, if anyone's looking to adopt a cat in the area, please let us know because uh, while we're providing her a home while we're here, we can't take her with us. And uh, we really don't want to leave her behind without uh, finding her a safe spot to live. Now, guys, we've had a great week this week exploring uh, parts of what Shane calls home. But uh, next week, we have something even bigger in store for you. 
it's something that we've been looking forward to for a long time and unfortunately just couldn't do when we lived here before because I couldn't walk. I'm good in that respect now though and uh, we're pretty pumped. Be sure and check in next week uh, so that you don't miss out on that adventure. I would like to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for following us on this whimsical journey and make sure that you if you have not you hit like subscribe and comment below yeah guys we could not do this without our subscribers and supporters and uh, this week we created a whole new way for you to support us that includes exclusive love hut merch that only our biggest fans can have guys we created a patreon account and that link's going to be below in the comments i really hope that you'll check it out guys we love each and every one of you Peace out. Have a good one. We'll see you next week. Bye, y'all.